What if the version of American history you know has been missing some key characters? Imagine, if you will, a time in the early 14th and 15th centuries, far removed from the familiar narrative of the English pilgrims landing on Plymouth Rock. Our story begins with the Dutch pioneers of a different sort, setting foot on the soils of what we now know as Canada and living in harmony with the Mohawk people. This untold chapter of history, often overlooked in textbooks, paints a vibrant picture of the Dutch, not just as explorers, but as settlers who established the first permanent European settlement in America. This was long before the English made their way across the Atlantic in the 17th century. Yet the Dutch story in America does not stop at first contact. After the Beaver Wars, they, along with the Mohawk, moved south, laying the foundations of what was to become New Netherlands. But the birth of New Netherlands in 1614 was not its creation. It was merely the year when it was recognized as an actual place. New Netherlands was not just a Dutch settlement, it was a melting pot of cultures, a paradise for many, including the Mohawk, Iroquois, and other Native American tribes, as well as Poles, Jewish people, Black Africans, Italians, Irish, and others. It was not merely a city, but a region stretching from Albany down to the Delaware Basin. Many mistake it for New York City, but New Amsterdam is New York City. For hundreds of years, these diverse cultures coexisted in peace and harmony, creating America's first multicultural society long before the English arrived. The Dutch were in America for 624 years, a fact often lost in the annals of history. Before we dive into this intriguing tale, Let's question everything we thought we knew about early American history. The real pilgrims were, in fact, the Dutch, and the Puritans were not English or British, but Dutch. This narrative and more awaits us as we journey through the untold tale of the Dutch in early America. Um, rewind to the early 14 and 1500s, a time when the Dutch were set in foot on American soil. This was an era that predates the English and British arrivals by well over a century. The Dutch, being the early birds, were already making their presence felt in the New World. Their journey had brought them to a land already inhabited by the Mohawk people, known today as Canada. The Dutch and the Mohawk found common ground, not in rivalry, but in peaceful coexistence. They developed a relationship built on mutual respect, and over time, they moved together out of Canada following the Beaver Wars. Their destination, the United States of America. Here, they began to lay the foundations of what would later be recognized as New Netherlands in 1614. But don't be mistaken, New Netherlands was not a product of a single year's work. It was a progressive establishment, a result of years of cooperation and shared endeavors between the Dutch and the Mohawk. The Dutch, known for their tolerance and acceptance, created a peaceful and harmonious environment. They respected the Mohawk's traditions and culture, integrating themselves into the community rather than imposing their own ways. This mutual understanding fostered a peaceful coexistence and allowed for the growth of a prosperous and diverse society. New Netherlands was not a city, as many might assume. It was a vast territory stretching from Albany down to the Delaware Basin. It was an expansive multicultural haven a far cry from the restrictive settlements of the English and British that were yet to come. It was, in essence, America's first diverse culture. New Amsterdam, often confused with New Netherlands, 
is what we now know as New York City, but that's a story for another time. The Dutch and Mohawk, along with other Native American tribes, lived here in peace and harmony for hundreds of years before the English arrived. Their legacy, though not as often recounted, is an integral part of the rich tapestry that is American history. But New Netherlands was much more than just a Dutch settlement. It was a beacon of diversity and tolerance, a testament to peaceful coexistence and a precursor to the multicultural society we know today. New Netherlands was not just a place, but a melting pot of cultures. This historical sanctuary nestled within the borders of what we now know as the United States was a haven for a multitude of cultures. Imagine a place where the Dutch, Mohawk, Iroquois, and other Native American tribes lived in harmony, their lives intertwining like threads in a rich tapestry of coexistence. Now, let's add more colors to this tapestry. Picture Poles, Jewish people, Black Africans, Italians, and Irish, all living together in this same space, sharing their traditions, and contributing to a vibrant society. New Netherlands was not merely a settlement, it was a social experiment that proved successful beyond anyone's wildest dreams. Here, in this American Eden, cultural diversity was not merely tolerated, but celebrated. Each group brought with them their unique customs, traditions, and wisdom, creating a society that was far more sophisticated and complex than those found in many other parts of the world at the time. The Dutch, who played a pivotal role in establishing New Netherlands, were known for their progressive views and open-mindedness. Their values were reflected in the society they helped shape, a society that was inclusive, accepting, and harmonious. In this paradise of cultures, the Native American tribes, including the Mohawk and Iroquois, were considered equal partners rather than subjugated peoples. Their knowledge of the land and its resources were respected and valued, creating a symbiotic relationship that benefited all inhabitants of New Netherlands. This early American society was a testament to the power of peaceful coexistence. It was a place where diverse cultures thrived, where people lived side by side, learning from each other and creating a community that was as rich in cultural diversity as it was in resources. This was America's first diverse culture, a peaceful haven before the English arrived. This was New Netherlands, a paradise of cultures that stood as a beacon of hope, a testament to what humanity could achieve when we choose to embrace diversity and live in harmony. Uh, the real pilgrims were not English, but Dutch. This statement challenges much of what we've been taught about the early settlement of North America. The term Puritan is frequently associated with English settlers, but it's time to debunk that myth. The Puritans were not English, but Dutch. In the 14th and 15th centuries, these Dutch Puritans embarked on an arduous journey across the Atlantic, settling in what is now known as Canada. Here, they lived harmoniously with the Mohawk people, one of the First Nations. Their cohabitation was marked by mutual respect and peaceful coexistence, a stark contrast to the violent confrontations that often characterized the relationships between later European settlers and Native American tribes. The English settlers who arrived much later in the 1600s were not Puritans, but separatists. Unlike the Dutch, these English settlers brought with them a dark legacy slavery. They set up plantations in the north, notably on Plymouth Rock, and thus began the painful chapter of slavery on American soil. 
It's critical to understand these differences in order to grasp the true origins of early America. The Dutch pilgrims were pioneers of peaceful coexistence and multiculturalism, living side by side with the Mohawk people and other tribes. The English, on the other hand, arrived later and imposed their institutions, including slavery, on the land. The Dutch formed the backbone of what would become New Netherlands, a vibrant multicultural society that spanned from Albany to the Delaware Basin. New Netherlands was not a city, as many believe, but essentially a country. New Amsterdam, often confused with New Netherlands, is what we now know as New York City. For hundreds of years before the English even arrived, the Dutch had been living in America. The history of their presence here spans six centuries and four centuries, a testament to their enduring influence and contribution. It's time to rewrite the narrative and give credit where it's due. The real pilgrims were Dutch, not English. The true Puritans were Dutch, not English. And the pioneers of multicultural America were Dutch, not English. It's high time we acknowledge this overlooked chapter in American history. Uh, the Mohawk people, a key part of this untold history, they were the first nation of native people in America, a fact that earns them the honorific title the First Nation. Their history is as rich and diverse as the lands they once roamed. The Mohawk were part of the Iroquois Confederacy, a powerful alliance of six tribes who dominated the northeastern part of North America. The Mohawk people thrived in the fertile lands of what is now known as Canada. Their society was built on principles of cooperation respect and harmony with nature. They were skilled farmers, hunters, and traders with a rich culture and spiritual tradition that guided their daily lives. When the Dutch arrived in the early 14th and 15th centuries, the Mohawk people didn't see invaders. They saw potential allies. They welcomed the Dutch, forging a relationship based on mutual respect and cooperation the Dutch settlers, in turn, recognized the value of this partnership, treating the Mohawk people as equals, not subjects to be conquered. This peaceful coexistence marked a unique chapter in the history of European colonization. Unlike later encounters between European settlers and indigenous peoples, yeah, the relationship between the Dutch and the Mohawk was not marred by violence or forced assimilation. Instead, they lived side by side, learning from each other and contributing to the cultural melting pot that was New Netherlands. The history of the Mohawk people is not just a tale of survival. It's a testament to the strength of their culture, the resilience of their spirit and their ability to adapt and flourish Despite the challenges they face, they were not just passive observers in the unfolding drama of American history. They were active participants, shaping the course of events in ways that continue to resonate today. Their legacy is an integral part of the rich tapestry of American history. The Mohawk people, the First Nation, stand as a testament to a time when different cultures could coexist peacefully, shaping a society that was diverse, inclusive, and ahead of its time. Uh, the Dutch, surprisingly, were staunch opponents of slavery. Often overlooked in the annals of history, the Dutch were resolute in their stand against the inhuman practice of slavery. It's an uncelebrated chapter of history worth exploring. In the early days, when the world was caught up in the race of colonization and exploitation, the Dutch charted a different course. They took a firm stand against slavery, 
a practice that was otherwise accepted as a norm by many other colonizing nations. Their commitment to human dignity and equality was so strong that they would free slaves from other colonies and bring them to New Netherlands. This act was not just a mere gesture, but a profound statement of their values. They ensured that these freed individuals were not just freed in name, but also in spirit, providing them a safe haven where they could live in peace and harmony. But the Dutch didn't stop there. They took their stand against slavery to an even higher level, becoming the first European nation to abolish slavery within their own borders. This was a monumental step, a beacon of hope in an era darkened by the shadows of human exploitation. The Dutch belief in human equality was not just confined to words or superficial actions. It was deeply ingrained in their society, reflecting in their actions and policies. New Netherlands, under Dutch rule, was a testament to this belief. It was a place where people of all backgrounds could live together, free from the chains of slavery and oppression. In the grand tapestry of American history, the Dutch have woven a thread of peace, diversity, and resistance against oppression. Their stand against slavery was not just a political move, but a deeply held conviction, a commitment to human dignity and freedom. In the face of the prevailing norms of their time, the Dutch chose the path of righteousness. They stood up against the tide, refusing to partake in the dehumanizing practice of slavery. Their stand serves as a reminder that even in the darkest times, there are those who hold fast to their principles and strive for a better world. The Dutch legacy in America is one of peace, diversity, and a stand against oppression. Um, the Dutch legacy in America, unfortunately, has been largely forgotten. Their early arrival, peaceful cohabitation with the Mohawk, and establishment of New Netherlands have been eclipsed by the English narrative. The Dutch were pioneers in the truest sense, not only in their explorations, but also in their values, embodying principles of diversity, peace, and equality far before these ideas became universal. In the early 15th and 16th centuries, they were already fostering a multicultural society in New Netherlands, a paradise of cultures where the Mohawk, Iroquois, Poles, Jews, Africans, Italians, Irish, and many others coexisted in harmony. It was America's first melting pot. A testament to the Dutch spirit of inclusivity and peace the Dutch were not just explorers or settlers, they were also liberators. Their vehement stand against slavery, a blight that many other European settlers brought with them, was a beacon of humanity in an era marked by inhumanity. They even brought freed slaves to New Netherlands, providing them a sanctuary of peace and freedom. Yet. The narrative that dominates our textbooks is one that paints the English as the primary settlers, the pilgrims as Puritan English, and the Dutch role is relegated to a mere footnote. But history is more than just the stories of the victors or the majority. It's a rich tapestry woven from the threads of all those who have contributed to its making. As we challenge these misconceptions, and delve deeper into the annals of history, it becomes clear that the Dutch have left an indelible mark on the fabric of America. Their legacy of peace, diversity, and freedom is an integral part of the American story, a testament to the power of inclusivity and a reminder of the values we should continue to uphold. We must remember that the Dutch were here long before the English, cohabitating peacefully with the native tribes, 
fostering a multicultural society and standing firmly against the scourge of slavery. It's time we recognize and celebrate this forgotten legacy as we delve deeper into the annals of history. It's clear that the Dutch have left an indelible mark on the fabric of America. Uh, let's journey back through the key points of our exploration. We've traversed the rich tapestry of early American history, upturning some commonly held beliefs along the way. We discovered that the English were not the first Europeans to establish a permanent settlement in America. Instead, it was the Dutch arriving in the early 14th and 15th centuries who lived amongst the Mohawk people in what we now know as Canada. They created New Netherlands, not in the year 1614 as commonly believed, but much earlier. This place, often mistaken for New York City, was in fact a vast territory stretching from Albany to the Delaware Basin. New Netherlands was not merely a Dutch settlement, but a paradise of cultures, a melting pot for Mohawks, Iroquois, Poles, Jews, Italians, Irish, and Africans. Our journey took us to the heart of this harmonious society, revealing the true nature of the real pilgrims, the Puritan Dutch, not the Puritan English. These Dutch pilgrims had settled in Canada with the native Mohawk people, living in peace for hundreds of years before the arrival of the English in the 1600s. We delved into the history of the Mohawk, the First Nation, and the role they played in early American society. We also debunked the myth of the English and British bringing civilization to the region, exposing the reality of their involvement in the establishment of slavery. In contrast, we highlighted the Dutch's stand against slavery, their efforts to prevent it, and their role in freeing slaves. The Dutch were the first to end slavery, both in their homeland, the Netherlands, and in New Netherlands. The next time you think about American history, remember the Dutch, the true pioneers of the land that would become the United States.